Hey, Rec Techers, what's going on? I'm Chef John, and I am so thankful and excited to be here with you today on the Rec Tech Deck, showing you another amazing recipe. This one is just in time for the holidays. I'm gonna be taking you guys how to do a smoked Cajun turkey. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, so the things we're gonna be needing. I have some Tony Saturies uh, in Creole butter injection. We have some Tony Saturies Creole seasoning. I've got a big bird here. This is like a, I'd say we're about 18 pound bird here, right? I've got my flagship behind me. We're burning the Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. Have it set to 325 degrees. Let that preheat. Smelling delicious out here on the Rectech deck. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you guys can see, I let my turkey kind of dry out in my refrigerator overnight, right? So we're just going to take that pan, put it down. So now we have our turkey. First thing I want you guys to do before you do anything else with your turkey is go ahead and take that bag out of the turkey. It's always in there. Sometimes you have to search around to find it, but go ahead and take that out and we're gonna discard that, right? Then we're gonna check the inside cavity, make sure they haven't put a neck in here or anything like that. So this turkey is prepped and ready to go. Next thing we wanna do is identify the backbone because we're gonna be spatchcocking this turkey. So we know this is the turkey breast right here. You can see those breasts prominent. The legs are facing up. All we're gonna to need to do is flip that over and then straight down the middle right here is the backbone, right? So the easiest way to spatchcock a turkey is to get yourself some shears, right? These things are absolutely awesome. So we're gonna go right on the sides of the backbone, right? Just a little clip. And really, I'm only clipping with this part of the clippers, the shears. We're just gonna go straight down. Just stay in along that backbone. Right, so once you've cut all the way through, <clears throat> you can remove the backbone just like this. Now, traditionally I'll throw this away. I use this in my gravy, uh, and I use the giblets, all that in the gravy too. Super, super delicious. Don't sleep on that, but that's a different video. All right, so now you have this turkey with the backbone cut out, right? Still not necessarily spatchcock yet. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come inside the bird, right? And we're gonna find this little white piece of cartilage. We're gonna find this little white piece of cartilage right here. You see that, guys? Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our snips, our shears, and we're just gonna cut through that cartilage. So then the next step is, we're just gonna push down on this bird and flatten it right out. Look at that guy, looking good, right? Now I'd like to take my shears and kind of clean up some of this inside stuff that we're, I'm not gonna eat, any of this fat, that's not gonna render down. We'll go ahead and take this stuff out. Anything that you see in here that you know you're not gonna wanna eat, go ahead and just clip it straight out. These shears make a great, great addition to your toolkit. All right, super easy everybody. We're pretty much halfway there. All right, so the next step is <clears throat> we are going to inject the bird, right? So how I like to inject is, I'll flip it over again, right? See how good that looks, right? So I'm gonna take my injection, right? So we're gonna come into the breast, and we're just gonna start filling it up, right? And I'm probably gonna put about three syri syringe fulls at each breast, probably about two in each leg. Now, if you guys wanted to make your own injection, feel free. But this recipe is available at rectech.com. Go to check out that recipe section. We have a ton of great recipes. You're gonna love them. All 
Okay, so now we're gonna eject the legs. So there's two parts to the legs, guys. We have the drum, which is this part right here, right? And we have the thigh, which is this part right here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and give the thigh a little injection. We're gonna come in on the side. And you can kinda see it start to plump up there. That's absolutely perfect, right? And then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the leg. Right, we're just gonna come in here, just like this, and just put, give it one good shot right in there in that leg. That's gonna be perfect. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, now that we have this bird all injected, I'm gonna show you all a little trick. You can see the residual injection that's like popped a left over on the top. We're just gonna rub all this stuff in, right? Now, if this bird wasn't moist like this, tacky, we would go ahead and rub this down with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, you could use mustard, you could use mayonnaise, just something that's gonna bi help bind the seasoning to the bird. But this bird's nice and tacky, so we're gonna go ahead and flip her over. Right, I like to season the inside first because this is what's gonna go down on the grill, right? We're gonna put a cut side down so the top side we always season last because that's the presentation side. All right, so we got a little Tony Saturies right here. And we're just gonna come in here and give it a healthy amount. Remember, spatchcocking is definitely the way to go this Thanksgiving, guys. If you've never spatchcocked your turkey before, definitely give it a try. It's the only way, really, to get a lot of smoke in there. It has more surface area because you've split it open. It's gonna cook a lot more evenly because it's not big. It's not a big round ball with a huge cavity in the middle. Spatchcocking is definitely the way you're gonna to wanna to go. All right, so we're gonna let this get tacky and all these seasonings really start to penetrate this bird and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the skin side and then we're gonna get it on the flagship. All right, Rectecker, so it's been about five minutes, and you can see how nice and tacky the inside of this turkey has gotten. See how all the moisture is starting to pick up all of that seasoning? That's how you know the seasoning is adhered to the bird really well. And we can go ahead and flip it at this point. None of that seasoning is gonna come off. So we're gonna give this a flip. Easy peasy, right? And we're gonna season the top half of this bird. All right, so we're gonna give this five minutes, guys. Let all this season adhere to the skin, and we're gonna come back and put it on the flagship. All right, Rec Techers, so it's been about two hours. Let's go on in the flagship and check out that dirty bird, all right? Oh man, look at that golden brown. Those Ultimate Blend pellets did an immaculate job on this bird. We're gonna go ahead and temp it out. We're looking for about 160 in the breast. That's ensuring that it's gonna come up to about 165. Yep, and we're right there at 159. So we're perfect there on the breast. We're gonna go ahead and check those legs out. I'd like to be up to around 180 degrees on these. We're about 170. So we're gonna have a little bit more time left, but this thing is gonna be immaculate. All we got left to do is pull this turkey off and it's time to carve this bad boy up. Ooh wee, mama say, mama son, mama son. This turkey right here is done. So all we need to do now is just let it rest. I wouldn't slice this turkey right now. I would give it at least 10 to 15 minutes to let all those juices calm down. That way you don't have a dry turkey. That's another chef tip. So give it about 15 minutes before you slice and you guys enjoy this turkey. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to follow Rectech on all social media. Definitely check out that recipe section at rectech.com for more amazing holiday recipes. And remember, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rectech.